Um, welcome to the stream. Let me see if I can lower the mic a bit. Okay. Um, oh, I need to change the Discord overlay. Okay, that seems to be working. Uh, let me know if the game is too loud uh, compared to my voice. I'm trying to readjust the mic so it doesn't uh, hiss as much as it did last stream, even though it was not noticeable, but just want to clear that up. Um, so, uh, we're doing Melody Rising today. Um, it's probably going to be a short playthrough, I'm guessing three, potentially four streams, probably three. Um, while I was prepping the stream, I did get a review code for the latest Earth Defense Force, so we will probably take a look at that on Sunday. Uh, but Wednesday and Friday is definitely Melgar Rising. So let us uh, begin. Finally, a good game. Yep. Finally. So I played this before on PS3, but I have not played the PC version. Uh, Although, even though I haven't played this forever, I don't think I need a tutorial. Oh shit, are the subtitles enabled? We might have the first cutscene without subtitles. Oh no, never mind. You've come so far in just three short years. The sign of a strong leader, sir. No. The will of a strong people. With a strong sword. You're not using swords, that's ridiculous. No, but I am. And one very able advisor. Thank oh, you, sir. Oh, gosh, sir. Your team deserves credit as well, Mr. Lightning Bolt. Just doing our job, Mr. Prime Minister. God, he looks like he fell out of the 80s. He is so cool, isn't he? He looks like a glam rock star, if I'm gonna be real. So yeah, he looks super cool. Oh, no. Raiden is the coolest. No, he is not. He is the coolest Metal Gear character. I love him. He looks like he's had plastic surgery done, but it's gone to shit after a while. Yes, well, the security. I mean, I think that that he did, kinda. There's a saying I like: one sword keeps another in the sheath. Sometimes the threat of violence alone is a deterrent. Sometimes, by taking a life, others. Ha! <laughs> it's a deterrent. It's the code the samurai lived by. Hmm. You, you do realize the Bushido code was only there to keep uh, you are full of uh, power from the merchants you, and give more power Mr. to the mobility back. Also, I'm Ryan, sure he you're doesn't. white as hell. <laughs> Called a Ryan. Ryan's not a white name. Hold on. It's a code Ryan's name, and you fucking know it. The fucking out of lightning. His name is Jack. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. It's fucking Jack. Jack, like the samurai. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm glad we're finally playing a game where the character has a name. Also, please, Iggy, his full name is Jack T. Ripper. The T stands for Thomas, actually. Also, Death is right. This is the first time in a while we've played a game where a character has a name. <laughs> God, I missed this game. It's a good game. This is my second favorite Metal Gear. I, I also just First. love how supremely fucking extra everything in it is. One of our competitors, Courtney, what is happening? We got hit, sir. A cyborg. Cool. Exit comes up. Gotta wiggle the sword. Thank you. 
No, no, our nameless mooks are being murdered by nameless mooks. Really a shame. Stay calm. I feel like that step was wholly unnecessary. Go mm, cut that the seat. Rubbery plastic. I, I appreciate how much Raiden thinks he's cool. I love it. He's right. It's so good. Take out those hostiles. Ah, yes, the fun part remembering how to parry. Oh, remember controls as well. Oh, yeah, in general. Stay self repair units from your foes to replenish your own supply. The limo is in trouble. Get back there, ASAP. I'll well, the limo to I, I, I kind of blocked the way to there. Ah, ninja run. You're not a ninja! I'm not a ninja, then how could I do that deflection thing? Fuck Ivy, you got me. It's actually because he watched a lot of Naruto. Ah, a man of culture. Is the story of this that the bad guys just brought in a shit ton of like concrete walls to block off all the roads? Yeah, they, they brought sweet vehicles that just expand out and block roads. God, seeing him do the Naruto trundle would be fucking amazing, Ivy. Like, I would fucking love that. Alright, I can just cut the gate. Gosh, I'm an idiot. You can cut things with sword. There we go. Finally, a Metal Gear. Wait, those those don't shoot lasers. Lasers. This is a special move now. Ah. This Metal Gear Ray 2.0. Oh no! I love this man. <laughs> yeah. I love him so much. Snap, snap. Man is one of my favorite fucking characters. He is so supreme, supremely extra. I love that they gave those two random twins names. I mean, backstory. It's Hideo Kojima adjacent, so of course they would. Now you see, it's it's just like Dark Souls. Jack. 
What do you want with the Prime Minister? Yes. This is just like Dark Souls. I don't remember the Scissor Sword from Dark Souls. There actually was a pair of shears with weapons, I think. It Business ain't been the same since they shut down SOP. SOP? Look, Iggy, Johnny's too busy Someone off somewhere fucking. Like, How's an honest warmonger supposed to make a living? He's not in this game. This is he's too answer. good for this game. <laughs> Johnny fucks. Don't do it. Don't worry now. I fucks. He fucks Mel. Not while he's still useful. I love this guy so much. I love everybody so in this game. I love the Yeah, no, the characters are fucking great, but that man in particular it's like is the, special. They over exaggerate his freaking mouth animations too. It's great. Like there's only one character I would honestly say I like more than him. <laughs> we'll see him eventually. Uh, uh, actually we saw him earlier, is it do with the red sword? Huh. That was Sam. I'm avoid I was avoiding saying names, but yes. I think we're gonna find him in like a second, so it doesn't matter. This this song is so good. This soundtrack is so good. I own this soundtrack. I played I paid people money for this fucking soundtrack. And they well deserved it. Uh, yeah, who was it? Jamie Christopherson, I think is the name. It's like the <clears throat> dynamic soundtrack from Boss Fight being known, Boss Fight till when it gets um. Those bastards. A plasma cannon? Uh, they also do another clever thing with the soundtrack. Which I will mention when the time comes. But yeah, are we are we are we the weapon to surpass Metal Gear? I mean, we were at the end of Metal Gear 2 already, so I don't know. Yeah, it just got better. There's just one Metal Gear. <laughs> We've killed like a bunch at the end of two. Yeah, but that was with guns. Yeah, that was with like a rocket launcher. I mean... Sorry, I need to parry that That stomp. was with a coward's weapon. A rocket launcher is just a cowardly um, sword, essentially. Oh, shit, I didn't time my parry properly. Okay, I forget the lore of Metal Gear, forgive me, but... Why did Raiden end up going all cyber? Because uh, he's cool. So that all happens off-screen, actually. Yeah, I think. yeah, I figured. Uh, he got he fucked he up when they went to rescue up. Sonny. Ah. Uh, basically, man, that man. Him and I think it's Boris where uh, went to save Sonny from the Patriots. That man, this this man has had a rough life. He has had a rough ass life. No, you could say that for like all the. Sorry. Um. Stop, there we please. Go. Lore later. Rules of nature now. Uh, I miss this. So yeah, for certain bits, the fucking music will skip to certain points in the song. It's really good. Fucking suplex the Metal Gear. So you will always fucking get Rules of Nature fucking blaring at that moment. Kalon, thank you for uh, the cheer. I don't know why the notification didn't come up. Charity of nature. Mixie, are you being dumb again? 
Rules of nurture, not nature. Listen, if I hadn't suplexed the Metal Gear, like, what the fuck? Like you do. Okay, Kalon, the notification did not go through, but I see it and I thank you. Also, yes, if you if, if anybody throws money this way via bets, please use the hashtag charity, because then Twitch will give money to a good cause and not just Amazon. I don't understand why you have to use hashtag charity. I don't know. It's, it's to increase viewer engagement. It's like, I tell you, oh, use hashtag charity, and you're like, oh, I remember cheering as a thing at all. Oh god, I remember this part having, like, a really asshole hidden box. Co collectible, oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Looks something Cause like it's here. platinum, it's what they do. Aw, oh, I missed it. Oh, you could've just slid under it. Ah, it's fine. Not going 100% completion. Nah. That would require several playthroughs. Yeah. Oh, that there wasn't actually a home collectible here. I guess it was the previous one. Also, fuck the VR missions. Yeah. Yes. Oh hey. Then we cut in half. Oh no, we cut the arm. No, we haven't cut it in half yet. Yeah, these are really sturdy pieces of tech. I mean, yeah, the Metal Gears. Oh what? Can you not dodge through it? Nope. What's the dodge button? I don't remember. Because I only I can see is jump, so I'm not sure what dodge is. There's no dodge button. Oh, there is no dodge button. Oh, you have to buy the dodge move, okay. Yeah. This is this is one of those where you have to buy uh, the dodge. Iggy clearly said the doge move, thank you. Much blade time, wow. Yes. Move where you th start throwing dogs at enemies. Thank you, Iggy. Thank you. I hate this. So does this game just have like a hate on for shins? Yes. God, you anime piece of shit. Yeah, it's fucking the really? best. This is this is this is when anime is good. It's not dead yet. Don't turn your back on it. Yes, the last time the arm happened. Okay, I might die here because sometimes you die on this run. Oh hey, look, I see Bayonetta falling. There we go. <laughs> ah, satisfying. God, I fucking love how carefully timed that that is musically. And that's an S rank and a boss. Uh, how much do they say in the uh, description that I'm giving? I don't know. No. Fifty. Fifty. Okay. Oh, oh no. Okay, get everybody on relax, Pete. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, nice thing about this game, uh, you don't need to not get hit to get an S rank. Yeah. Sonic the Hedgehog is played, as a, played by Ryan. Please, his thighs are not hairy enough. 
Yeah, and Sonic's <clears throat> and Sonic dies on is child day. Yeah, fedora squares, but it's, it's not the red that's fedora. A, it's a noir fedora. That's it. I would love if Jim Carrey had a character written for him in this. <laughs> of all the places where he would fit in perfectly. He, I can imagine him as a Kojima villain. You just play the Widlow again. Basically! People like to give that movie shit, but that was... I, I like Jim Carrey as the Widlow. Too little too late, hero. Oh, the movie was terrible, but he was fun. I seal here any longer. Things war is done for us. Why don't we ever hear speeches about that? We do. Uh, Just don't worry. We... <laughs> Buddy, you're from the U.S. Like, you hear them all the time. Yeah. Get me. Stop him. <laughs> you ain't listening. Did you bother to chain him up then? To fuck with him. Mind if I got in? Nice. Oh, you're the best character. Give war a chance. That's my new political platform. No. I know it's bad. But have y'all ever thought war? What is it good for? Absolutely everything. <laughs> Let me tell you about the war economy! Oh no, he has blood in his armor. Something else is blood. Of of Metal Gear Solid 4 right in front of me. This song is so fucking good. <laughs> that was time to wait. I think my favorite thing about this fight is if you just like wait for a bit. Don't be shy. Ivy, you are beautiful and fantastic, and thank you for that. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> Please respect my personal circle! <laughs> Can't believe Sam just pushes you around. To be fair, you're riding, so it makes sense. I thought he taunts hey, you at is... some point while walking towards you. No, this is really good. <laughs> Do you think, uh, Captain Baldman calls him Uncle Sam sometimes? No, he no. doesn't. No. He's not old enough for that. He's not because that kind of guy at all. No, 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 because of America. He's Brazilian, dude. Yeah. No. God. You know, not getting my joke. No. <laughs> Your joke sucks. Because fucking, <laughs> I don't want to say his name because that his name hasn't been revealed yet. It doesn't matter. Say it. I'm aware about. No, everyone gets Sam's the joke. It's not mine. We're just messing with you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> And the only thing I know for real is a good fucking song. Now I see. You deny your weapon its purpose. I thought that oh. the sword's just touching the mixed spot. I know it's oh. it's really good. 
Oh. Uh, you see, it works because they're vibrating at incredibly high speeds. It yearns to bathe in the blood of your enemies, but you hold it back. No. My sword is a tool of justice. Oh, it's a tool, all right. It's wielded by a tool. Sam with the unblockables. Ah, my favorite part! The fucking gun sheet! So good. It's so fucking good! <laughs> Every time I see one in a fucking anime, I love it so much. It is much, it is much better than gun blades. Oh, definitely. Also, it makes a bit more sense than a gun blade, but also is terrible for the sword. Are but these are magic swords, You're so it doesn't matter. Stop pushing me around! Please, sir, I could not possibly be Jack the Ripper. I'm not a tiny girl. I, I could have sworn he taunts you when he walks enough into you. Is that, like, bugged out? <laughs> like, he walks up to you, leans forward, and makes fun of you. This is what happens when you bring a tool to a sword fight. Don't call me a tool. It's over. I mean, let's be real, Raiden's a fucking tool. He's yes. a weeb. A tool, though. He's a fucking goober. <laughs> also, you can be both a weeb and a tool. He's a weeb and a I mean, I exist. Ah, there we go, the stereotyp- the, the stereotypical Soviet guy. Here to save the day. Set the line! He set the thing! Here comes my favorite line in the entire, uh, ga entire game. You said that about, about a few lines. Oh, I love one because how dumb it is. Down you go. Flares! Flares! <laughs> in, in, in a military aircraft? What? They expected this. <laughs> Who could have possibly seen this coming? I also like that Sam, without even saying it, was like, I could kill you now, but I'll wait till you're stronger. He didn't have to say it. I mean, it's it, an anime. It. It's how it works. This is a fucking shonen. Let's be real. I mean, why why didn't Revolver Ocelot just shoot Solid Snake? Uh, well, because he was he's secretly Revolver in love Ocelot with his dad. Is incredibly gay. He's in love with his dad, and he and my and he reminds me. He looks him. just like his dad. Yes. Yes, and he was having conflicting. I didn't know. Wait. Oh, oh, let's let's not go into Metal Gear Solid Four spoilers because I have not played Metal Gear Solid Four yet. I don't know if Squares is joking or not. Uh, no, I, I think uh, Squares met with Fox Dog. Oh right. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been forever. I haven't played MGS One a decade. Uh, hasn't hold up, held, held up the best. Yes, I should hope so, huh? Speaking from experience. How does it feel? To fly like a bird? Like a bird strapped to a remote control rocket. <laughs> we will get no, please, Rocket Birds is a different game. Just relax. Also, uh, you are peeking hard, Torpid, at times. Am I? Yeah. Can you 
I'll mine at least. Oh, huh, that's really weird. I about Metal Gear. I fucking love Metal Gear. Oh. But. And two. Absorbing their electrolytes. I got it. Yes, enemy cyborgs should provide oh, this man's haircut. FC electrolytes once you slice them open and uh, extract their fluids. Damn, fucked up, Scruffy. You need to drink the Gatorade out of their bodies. Get them electrolytes. Slurp it up. Slurp it up. Is that combat data In the future, cyborgs are powered by Gatorade. I, I, I'm sorry. Why the fuck, Auto Mod? Did you get this? I, I don't know. Apparently, Fakest was a bad term. Apparently. Weird. I'm kind of annoyed that we. Um, it's kind of weird that we have to help the Doctor complete his like hand fetish collection. Yeah, he's kind of gross. That's what you said before Montenegro. Look, just humor me, buddy. Oh god, Montenegro. What happened to that? Just, what happened to Montenegro in the future? Or what's left of it, anyway. The Sorry about it. And most of the cabinet have been killed, and a military junta has been established. Did you know that until a few years ago, Montenegro was still at war uh, with Japan because they forgot to sign a peace treaty? <laughs> mm. That's weird. Like you do. Andre Dolce. Leader of the occupation forces, an extremist linked to both the St. Petersburg massacre of. I'm glad that this game pretends there's such a thing as a good PMC. And his arms supplier, none other than Desperado Enforcement LLC. Oh. Imani's killers. If we don't stop them here, they could destabilize the entire region. But our more immediate problem is Jetstream Sam. I believe you've met. Jetstream Sam. The only problem I see is that nickname. I've got my enhancements this time. Says the guy called Raiden. He may not even be in country, but keep an eye out just in. No. Uh, <laughs> a white dude who was born in Ready for Libya, and as the name of a Japanese fucking dog. Mm hmm. I mean, it's a code name. Well, yeah, but still. <laughs> no, it's great. I mash up the idea there. The most multi ethnic creature known to man. Also, don't forget he's powered by German technology. Sploosh. I like the implication here is that he is walking obscenely fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like they had time to build him a new body, but they couldn't fix his eye. I think they addressed that actually. Hmm. Raiden, you landed safely, Doc. First, head inland. The waypoint is marked on your solar Assuming we radar. listen to Codex. Codex if you have questions. We'll listen to the occasional Codex, but there are like so many Codex calls in this time. Oh, game. there's so fucking many! Yeah, we'll be sure all day if we... <laughs> like, I think there's <laughs> more codec calls than there are actual <laughs> gameplay. Of your new body? In terms of raw time. Go ahead, Doc. As we discussed, you've been outfitted with two revolutionary new abilities. And if you, you want to see all the codec calls, and go see oh, Chip Cheatham's yeah. okay of it. Precisely. Or don't. Yeah. First, I mean... Absorption. I mean, code calls here are at least more fun than the Metal Gear Solid 3. Directly to a fuel cells. This, this game is a lot more self-aware than anything Kojima's ever done, yeah. I mean, I think he was, like, in charge of writing this. No, he wasn't. Oh, he, he, I thought it was, like, a supervisory role. Oh, okay. He had some input. Yeah, but this isn't he's writing, is the thing. Yeah. Most military cyborg models store a cache of biotic self-repair nanopaste in their lower abdomen. So I need to slice them open and use Zandatsu to extract it. Cut and take, in other words. Correct. Rip them up and slurp the paste. You need only to crush this unit in your hand to absorb the repairing agent inside. Keep in mind, it is extremely delicate. If the unit should hit the ground, some paste will surely leak out. It will still repair your body, but less so than if you can retrieve it directly before your foe falls over. 
Basically, harvest their organs before their body can even hit the ground. Rather gruesome. Is this is a little bit fucked up. Then you Americans enjoy it. Of course, the body don't you? Floor. I may be a citizen, but I've never really thought of myself as American. Yeah, he's oh. he's not really American, Doctor. But I suppose is the I thing. could understand that given your history, but what then? Surely you don't identify as a Liberian. I don't identify with anyone. <laughs> no nation. No nation. <laughs> 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 right inside his ears. <laughs> God. Porn movies were pretty popular in Japan. Oh God, this is that kind of call. Indeed, indeed. The one pretty much just gore porn. In Germany, Japan, everywhere. Wow. The reasons afflicted by actual warfare. It all has to do with taming our fears, you know. Huh? The desire to feel fear, to taste death, but from a safe distance. These films allow the viewer to taste death, but responsibly and safely. They have overcome their fears. This death responsibly. Okay, uh, okay, Doc, I got the gist. Let's save the full cycle. Please, Doctor, this is outside your fucking wheelhouse. How are we doing, Courtney? Well, let's talk to each person at least good once. On our end. GPS and audio visual feed coming in fine. Energy consumption, check. Damage levels, check. Blood pressure, brain waves, blood sugar. Check, check, check. All this monitoring equipment, I got a better view than if I was standing right next to you. Anyway, I'll be saving all your data automatically anytime something important happens in the field. But contact me anytime you want a manual save. Copy that. Good to hear that hasn't changed with this new body. Yep, the basic system's exactly the same. So, did you want to save? Let's save. Huh? Copy. And glad to hear you're okay. Yeah, sure. Shame that Metal Gear Solid Five happened after this. No joke. I tried playing uh, that game and I got through a prologue and just couldn't play it anymore. Yeah. I keep asking myself, where would an I can believe Metal Gear Survive came out after this game. It just doesn't add up. Yeah, that, that, that is Konami milking the dead franchise. A lead I should follow it up on. Maybe if I reacted faster. Coordinated better. I don't know. You can't think that way, Courtney. Not in this business. You did everything you could. You're right. Thanks. Look, he's trying to emulate his hero, <laughs> Solid Snake. I had the point of Melody Solid 2 was that he has no more heroes. Streets got pretty hot after that. And yet here we are. Civilian casualties here. Luckily, it looks like most also, no more heroes is a different game. Got bad. They've basically got control of the entire town. And are there are literally no heroes. And that's why we're hitting the plant. Keep in mind, those cyborgs are contractors. For most of these guys, this is just a job. In theory, once you eliminate their commanding officer, they should scatter pretty quickly. Control. Why does he have those goggles? I'm on the ground. Copyrighted. Glad to hear it. Entering on foot was the right move. Snowboarding. That craft isn't equipped with stealth camo. Or octo camo, obviously, since that would be useless in midair. And we wouldn't want to get your pricey new jet damaged, now would we? Duh. The MQ-133C was not cheap, Tovarich. <laughs> now, keep alert. According to Intel, you could find significant cyborg deployment here. If you were to be cornered by an entire squad, it might get... I, I too use big. random foreign words when speaking Serbian. Understood. Some fighting will be necessary, though. Well, I'm speaking I've English. To and both are me. <laughs> this is not an infiltration mission. There is no need to hide or avoid combat outright, huh? Just do not get reckless. Stay safe and stay focused on your mission. Well, time to get reckless. And find the best NPC in the game. Cat that Even can dodge everything. Yeah, it dodges everything. I think there is one more cat in the cat. game somewhere. It's so yeah, we need we need to get that cat to go fight uh, Desperado. But all it can do is That's dodge here. I mean, it's support. It's Don't run distract. But it won't do any good against a state-of-the-art cyborg like you, eh? Oh. To bury incoming people, throw out your own barrage of light attacks while your foe is on the offensive. Get off! 
Electrolytes full. Tastes so good. It's what the body craves. I love raspberry. Oh no, I didn't pick it up. Oh well. Just I'll, I'll... carefully carved around it. I, I like when the game released and everybody misheard what he said when he said dead on. And well, they thought it was something like get off or whatever. Had your fill? With this body, I could take these guys with no eyes. Intel wasn't exaggerating on the cyborg count. Well, you know how fast the tech's been spreading these last few years. That CNT muscle fiber packs the power of a jackhammer into every limb. What enterprising soldier of fortune could resist? And cyborgs are still human. Real thinking people. Way less risk of collateral damage than your typical UAV strike. And don't forget the PR angle. Nations start playing Frankenstein with their troops, and the public goes nuts. PMCs, on the other hand, are off the ethical radar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They still don't even count PMCs in official death tolls. With SOH out of the picture, private militaries needed a new edge on the market. We got it. In a way, cyborgs are just SOP troops by another name. Only all muscled up and less predictable. But it makes you wonder, where'd Desperado find these guys? I'm not complaining. LinkedIn. They're like walking vending machines. Right. Vending machines full of blood. No, it's it's like like Uber, but for PMCs. Easy there, Dracula. Like I said, there's still people. Just you know, calling a hit like that. It's fine. Take innocent lives for money. They sowed their fate when they took. Also, this job. you got a sweet new sword. I'm just the Reaper. Thank God. It's a bit cold, right? Even for you. <laughs> so. Anyway, uh. His school Please, Jack the Reaper is a different game. Time to increase the peace. Right. I think it's a spine. I like how both the voice actor for the snake and Raiden eventually started sounding like they had to goggle Vox to also, say their lines. Also, hey, uh, more XP. Can you handle that torpid? Uh, 50? Mm hmm. Might seem like a lot okay. now, but don't worry, it'll quickly go down in the later parts of the game. Also, to be fair, it's because it is literally impossible for Quentin Flynn to sound imposing. So he really has to try. Raiden, this is Boris. Give me your status. Looks we literally like talked five minutes ago. Yes. Good. Let's recap the route you will take. As I said, the enemy's HQ is in the refinery along the coastline. Dolsayev has been spotted there using satellite photography. Also on site, Mistral, a desperado captain. So I go through the city, cross the bridge into the this old town, and kills me. head down to the rear yeah. of the refinery. Still, I think they anticipate us. They will probably have a grand reception awaiting you at the old city. Do not let your guard down. Look at that lovingly rendered ass. They it's not even that good an ass though. Here. It's not a Metal Gear game if there's not a if there's not an ass. See, this is a charming VR mascot, not like Astrobot. Yeah, yes. Iggy knows what's up. It's not as good as MGS4 Snake's lovingly rendered ass. Oh, what is that thing? You could open this door. No. Oh. I appreciate that they gave him this sweet custom made cyborg body, but they didn't give him a better ass. I mean, his ass was already perfect. Nah, not really. Hostiles in the lower corridor, I see. Try to flank them, or approach from behind. I remember. Oh, well, there's a thing over there, so let's get that first. Haste. Hey, 
Excellent, Raiden. Man, you're really happy about that. He loves murder. Who closed that door? It was you. Raiden, take that main thoroughfare. You can use augment mode to see where the enemy is located. Your body analyzes radar and IR data to construct your AR display. Huh. Some civilians are still in the city. That is not good. Remember. What are you doing here? This area is off limits. What? No, I'm not doing anything. Can we just kill them? It'll be easy. Supposed to have driven them all away already. <laughs> so, self defense, right? <laughs> Good job, me. There we go. Good enough. Didn't touch the ground. Five second rule. How do I climb? How climb? The body touched Get the ground, the not the spine. It's fine. He is Hello, sir. Thank you, thank you. I will not forget this. See you. There's a thing you can do, but I don't want to do it. Um, or yeah, you can. Gross. Yeah. You can slice open the, the guy's uh, clothes, and then everybody kind of shits on you for being an asshole. As they should. They shit on you for being a gross pervert. Yeah, saving some civilians in the- I think I went to save every civilian in the game, and I got really far, and there was one I just could not save, and it frustrated me so much. Like, I, I kept retrying and just couldn't do it. Yeah, like any uh, Platinum game, it's kind of rude about some of the collectibles. Yeah. God, it hasn't even been an hour yet. It feels like so much longer. Yeah. A lot of stuff happens in this game. Yeah, it's very fast paced. I know a lot of people complain about the parries in this game, but they're not that difficult to pull off. Uh, they're a lot more generous than other Platinum games. I think it was the input that people complained a lot. What do you mean? Because the input is uh, forward attack, and a lot of people found it unintuitive. Good enough. Oh, not good enough. Very good, Raiden. Now, keep heading for refinery. I'm glad we're not playing for rank or attempting to be skillful at least. Alright, a B is a passing grade. All Metal Gears are great though. I love the cows. I love the rays. I love the rexes. They're all great. 
I even love the not Metal Gears, like the Shagahod. Wow, disgusting. Why does it roar? Why do- WHY DO THE COWS MOO? Is this called a cow? Those are cows. They're not actually called cows! They have cow brains. No! No, oh, what is the sub-weapon Exactly! Weapon? Icky fucking gets it! <laughs> All Metal Gears are valid, is what I'm saying. Oh, I thought I would like kill at least. Raiden. I can't see anything. There we go. I just like to think that the Moo boys have one of those just shitty cow shakers suspended inside of them. Oh my god. Do those things still exist? Or I mean, yes! Well, what if they have a cowbell? Then they wouldn't move. Cowbells don't move. The name's a misnomer. No, the, the cow horn moves. Yeah, like you said, it's like super simple to program. I could do it in Game Maker. Make metal games in game makeup. Look, Iggy, I prefer my method. Much more needlessly elaborate. Has a lot more moving parts to give more room for error. Moving parts, am I right? Oh. No. But why not? I thought it was right. No. Uh huh. Ooh, my box. A box! They have erected an electromagnetic barricade. It has Maybe pace! UG or cyborg attack. Delicious. Yes. I'm kind of gonna have to press a button here. Like, they should have gone all in, and your only interaction with the world is just slicing shit. I mean, it's real good, because. He has to carefully push a button to cyborg claws. We may be able to salvage some intel. Mootal gear, nice. Moopocalypse. New VR missions added, huh? Also, it keeps recentering my mouse in the center. Doctor, what do you say so about all this? These self-repair units and the other cyborgs, they mean they can heal themselves at any time? Indeed. It is typically a slow process, not much faster than a regular human body heals a wound. And you didn't think it was a good idea to give me one of these things? Certainly not. We removed all extraneous options in your case to maximize power and speed, you know. Healing wounds is extraneous? Your ability to absorb the nanopaste agent is far more efficient, Raiden. With it, your wounds get good, Raiden. Almost instantly. I know, but... And a standard repair unit, once depleted, is nothing but an empty shell inside you. Dead weight! I get that, Doc, but it also means I need to constantly be grabbing them out of enemies. No, it doesn't. Don't be silly. <laughs> we avoid taking damage and you will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get hit, Raiden! <laughs> uh... I love the code calls in this game, like, genuinely. Um, I think, like, Metal Gear Solid 3 is the only one where I just stopped listening to code calls because they were boring. Like, there were, like, maybe three I actually laughed at. Um, but, like, Metal Gear Solid 1 and uh, 2 and this are pretty good. I don't know, I played through one recently and I could just not care enough to sit through the codex. Okay, but could you sit through uh, Rose's code calls? I want to die every time I'm in one. I love the Rose Coda call. I they... lose my fucking will to live every time she opens her mouth. I love how melodramatic she is. I fucking love everything about her and Raiden. They're so good. Watch way too many soaps. That's all I'm saying. Raiden, oh, dude, no, remember what day it is tomorrow. She was so good that they didn't bother to include her in this one. Yeah, yeah. 
I think I'm the only person who I love the code that calls with Rose because you can press the shoulder buttons and then Raiden will actually like be thinking to himself like, oh gosh, just shut up. Yeah, no, that's Topic's playthrough is mashing those buttons. <laughs> yeah. Here comes the good boy. I need to replay um, Metal Gear Solid 2. I love that game so much. Behold the goodest boy. I am I am prototype LQ eight four I. Just have a fucking chainsaw. Interface for and cut through boot buildings. Each separate blade vibrates. I possess an intellect far beyond. No, it's just a fucking chainsaw. Oh god, this discussion. Okay then. What's the meaning of life? Why are we here? God, Raiden, why are you such a fucking tool? I love him. <laughs> I am here to kill you. <laughs> the reason Raiden has heals is so that he can catch knives. That's it. So he can be supremely extra. For such a mighty intellect. I may analyze orders, but I may not disobey them. Checkmate, atheists. My memory would be wiped. I must Theists. destroy you. What good is an intellect if you can't use it? You're taunting. Ah, oh, you're a genius, but you're stuck following orders. It makes you think, doesn't it? Can't escape from crossing Probably one of my favorite tracks. I keep saying, what like it matters now. Just say all the tracks are your favorite track. I mean, they're all my babies. Oh god. Ow. Is there like a lock on? I keep forgetting. No. I, I don't remember. It's been a long fucking time. Okay, got a Jean-Claude Van Damme it. Take some damage to get power. Just you meet the dog and just... ride and stares at him and goes, Oh woo, what's this? <laughs> no, he first goes, oh woo, and then... Um, when he kills the dog, he goes, ooh woo. Because he's sad. <laughs> Look, it is a $500 fine for a woo. Raiden, please. Just take the fucking spine and drink it. Drink the juice. Drink the Gatorade. Take it through your hands. Here comes the paint train. I like how immediately when I unmuted that happened. Uh, also, jokes on you, Bear. Their pain inhibitors are on. Oh no. See, the dog summoning those minions is good game design because you can use them to get healed. Yeah. That's just stupid. Why would a dog summon a cow? That's ridiculous. A moo. Oh, the song is getting better. Oh shit. If you're so smart, why do you get hit, sucker? Please stop stabbing the doggy. 
real fucked up. Well, he's chopping the dog up into a million pieces, so... Fucking rip doggy. He was the goodest boy of us all. Aha, if you're so smart, why are you conflicted? Hmm. Makes you think. I'd say that just a million pieces and exploded, so. That was just a 50 because the boss. <laughs> well, yeah, I, yeah, I got hit several times at the start because I was like, oh, wait, what am I meant to do in this fight? All right, not get hit. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> why didn't I listen to the doctor? <laughs> just remember, doctor! <laughs> Doctor was right. Oh, come on. Oh, okay. Smack that shield. Smack it. Did you have to go into blade mode though? I tried to. But I messed. Let's get some health. Yeah, I don't think it's that's how you slice it. So apparently lock on is R2, according to Tyrion. Oh, okay. I'm just mentioning his name, so if it goes wrong, you don't blame me. That's right. Yeah, because I could have sworn there was a lock on. If you're so smart, then why did you die? What do you think? Oh no, water! The only thing that can actually kill me. Can it though? Are you not water tight? Uh, I don't know. I think it's a game over if you fall into water. Just like real life. You'd probably sink like a fucking rock, but. No, oh, homie, that's Nah, his ass is a secretly flotation device. Oh. Buddy, look at that ass. That ass is floating nothing. I mean, okay, well then it's that. I'm trying to remember how to switch items. Probably the directional buttons. Yeah, there we go. I love rocket launchers. Also, I love that you just you stun the helicopter with a rocket for some reason. Well, yeah, because it's a robot. There we go. Wait, wait, then. Oh, I need to press sex, okay. Oh, okay. I did the good yeah! thing. He's a cool guy! We're at the entire bar. Oh, nice S rank. Ah! <laughs> I thought using items uh, lowered your rank, but I guess not. Nope. Uh, no, this game is actually one of the most approachable platinum games. I'm glad you didn't say most casual or something like that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't fucking say casual. That's shitty. No, I'd say this and Bayonetta 2 are probably their most approachable. Oh, right, Bayonetta 2. I need to play that. It's a good game. I'll probably, like, surely just get the bundle for the Switch, to be honest. Uh, yeah, definitely. Just wait. For 1 and 2. 
I mean, isn't it already on the Switch? No, I meant the bundle for yeah. 1 and 2. I should get that when it's in this code. Did they already put that out? Or... Yeah, I think that's already been. Yeah. But yeah, this game is rad as hell, and I love that like all the cool shit is punctuated by Raiden being a fucking goober. Oh shit, they killed a guy. Oh well. Doing all this rad shit running on rockets, but also, you're so smart, why do you follow orders? <laughs> look. Like, what the fuck? Look, running on rockets is dexterity, not wisdom or intelligence. <laughs> no shit. Man doesn't even have charisma. He has charisma. Yeah, Stop picking on Raiden, he's a special boy. I will fucking pick the hell on Raiden. He was a child soldier, come on. Have you ever seen his room, Torpid? It was bare and gray. And empty, like his soul. Just, Raiden, why are you so unfunny? He just start screaming, I was a child soldier! <laughs> you don't understand! I don't have a sense of humor. And then you're like, oh fuck, I can't actually have a comeback for that shit. That's how he wins arguments. <laughs> Raiden, a, a ninja so good he has two shadows. Ah! You called him Double Shinobi. Uh, as an expert, I can agree. So that's where they're holed up. Some kind of electronic lock on the gate. Most likely it will yes, be Marsh! There is a fight if you go back! Your left hand. Perhaps you could find a cyborg with access no, we will not be doing borrowing? secret fights and you stuff like that. Around here, Doc? Why not double back? Check the vehicle route again. Yeah, no, secret fights fucking suck thing. in these games. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe you can hit your rocket. Well, as bad as the uh, thing being at a one. Correct ID data for the gate. Use an the alpha. To figure out who to hit. Wait, Carnival, what's a deep cut? I already forgot what I said. <laughs> Look, it's not a deep cut carnival, it's a joke between friends. Please do not bring that into this uh, stream. I'm just talking about me being a shinobi expert. That was a valiant effort for getting both. I, I tried. Hmm. I know. You did a good job, Bear. First time every time. The Patriots? The Patriots! I also like that uh, you don't even have to get that arm, you could just slice the middle of the door. Just. But why are we talking about the Patriots? What does football have to do with this? I think that is a door you could legit just sword. This is kind of fucked up. Oh yeah, there's also like a pacifist bonus in this. If you don't kill humans, you just incapacitate them by chopping off their legs or something. Yeah, it's really fucked up, actually. Damn, that was bad. The C stands for. 
Wow, thanks, Torbert. It's not that the game is telling me that, you have to tell me that too. Look, C is for cookie and that's good enough for me, alright? More like a cookie cutter rank, am I right? What is that? We don't even know C is the ad average. Like, th these ranks are meaningless, Bear. Yeah, just like real life. Damn. Grading systems are bad. No, I thought you were saying real life is meaningless. No. Well, there's an ammo over there. Oh, I didn't know you could unlock a Boken in this game, or I forgot. Can I unlock an adventure? No. Yeah, a wooden sword. That eventually turns into an ore after you've used it enough. Oh, is that the, the snake sword? Does I have? Look at this beautiful man in his amazing hat. I like that he wears his coat without putting his arms in the sleeves. Oh, oh yeah. man! It's it's a cloak and a coat at the same time. Interchangeable. Cloak. Huh? Nani? How did she do those hearts? I want to do that. Where did she get that Fortnite <laughs> emote? Yeah. Doc, get out of here. I want to look at the goal. Uh, <laughs> oh, please do not. Um. Actually, I, I think you can get. Uh, Codec calls about her now. I guess we can see what people have to say. Or hear what people have to say. They're terrible. The Mistral woman. Is she there we are. Full body cyborg? That's what the intel says, at least. Why? You notice something? Indeed. Two somethings, in fact. Oh, fuck Based off. On their movement, her chest region did this not is what I wanted you to get. <laughs> you can tell that just from what I saw. Her <laughs> boobies, Ryden! The and boobies! Image analysis. I am 80% certain that is her only natural torso. <laughs> I scanned her boobs to be sure they're real. The most advanced I've ever seen. Such technology would not come but If she's a cyborg, those are some amazing fake tits. Are you sure Kojima didn't write anything in this? As far as Miss Trow goes, it really doesn't matter to me. Natural, synthetic, man, woman, an enemy is an enemy. See, Raiden is an indiscriminate killer. No, Do Doc, I wonder I'm not if her tits are real or not. Doc, right, please. I wanted you to get that call. I wanted to follow up on our talk earlier about the stress that comes with the job. PMC work can be traumatic, even for non combatants. If the pressure ever gets to be too much, have one of the ex military there take over. Just. I'm not doing that, Raiden. PMCs wield massive influence over international affairs. Abolishing SOP didn't change that. They need a better understanding of what they're mixed up in. The laws, politics, local cultures. Ex-military aren't here to provide that. They can't. We need civilian voices like mine here, too. You're right. Just take care of yourself. <laughs> Don't worry. Africa was more than enough excitement for one lifetime. It's a good thing that limo was armored. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, you'd now be the world's clumsiest cyborg. Hey! Cyborg Courtney could have been your partner. I thought have saved your ass. How? By I'm sorry, what did she just say? Over the enemy? <laughs> oh, I saved your ass. Oh, son of a... Please tell me that was a joke. Psst, ends the call. <laughs> you get all that, Kev? The woman with Dulcia. That's Miss Trow? Yep. The only female member of the Winds of Destruction. The name is from... 
a cold, dry regional wind in France that blows from the Alps down to the Mediterranean. Is she French? Yep. Born in Algeria, though. It was a French colony until they declared independence in the early 60s. Haha, <laughs> but you already knew that. You already knew that, player the last wink. Colony in Africa. You know your history. Plenty of French colonial families still live there. Bied Noir, they're called. I've heard the term. The main character in that Camus novel, The Stranger, was one. You also find a lot of Algerians who've immigrated to France. Is that book about the thing? They put a stop to no. that a while ago. Yeah. Oh. A lot of European countries seem to be clamping down on immigration. Lately. Oh my fucking god. Mm. <laughs> Why is this relevant? <laughs> I hate Metal Gear so much. It's more accurate than it should be. They predicted the future. It's more accurate than it should be. We're not sure why she went cyborg. She's officially leading the force at the refinery, but she is also a combatant. Kojima was secretly from the future and came back to warn us through video games. Weird that this game came out two months ago. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't stream it sooner. I usually stream games they want. They didn't let her in because of her looks. I don't need a reminder. I won't let my guard down. They didn't let her in because yeah, her torso uh, wasn't full cyborg, you see. Of her looks, she's got... Oh my god. <laughs> she's got tig old bitties. Huge... Look, just don't get distracted, okay? Why does everyone want to talk about her tits? Sounds like you should take your own advice there. Bye. Kev. Boris, I got a visual on Dolzai... Kev, stop Trump. ogling her, please. Like we're arguing over something. Mistral's heading up the force at the refinery, correct? We're sure on that? Yes, but I'm not sure how good a commander Let's talk about relevant political issues and also breasts. Yes, no, but... Well, neither one looked very happy. Maybe she'll withdraw. Oh, I doubt that. She may not like him, but she will follow her orders. She is just the leader on the ground here, I think. Someone else is calling the shots behind cover. All right. But what's Carnival, the this isn't cool enough Let's to be the I'm Kojima right, timeline. Stop them. Then what? Are they not yet. Of forming a real government? Do they think the people here would support Dolzaev? Hmm. Good question, Stavarich. History shows it is yeah, a much God, why got to be politics in my video? Keep it. An unpopular regime can only ignore the will of the people for so long before they rise up. And trying to do all this with PMC soldiers? Difficult. And very, very expensive. Someone else must be bankrolling this for their own reasons. Someone with very deep pockets. Who stands to benefit the most from all this? Most likely someone with an interest in that refinery. The plant has pipelines connecting with Sochi in Russia and Supsa in Georgia. Crude oil from the Caspian Sea is refined in Sikumi. And it's always oil, isn't it? Oil. I wonder if Dozayev knows he's being used. Then again, I wonder if he'd even care. Ah, we'll do it between missions then. I think we can like finish this with the current um low that shouldn't be hard. Speaking of yeah, this, this I mean, speaking of dystopian uh futures and timelines, did you see that Razor thing I retweeted? Ah uh, no I didn't. So Razor's selling expensive PCs and telling you, hey, if you have our expensive PC, you can have this uh mining app running, and if you have this mining app running, we'll give you our special store currency that you can use. Uh, to get discounts for keyboards and shit. Just give us free money and we'll give you fun bucks that are worth far less than what you're giving us. Wait, mining at what? No, it's not just- Yeah, mining. It, Bitcoins. Yeah. Still, people still- Bitcoin is still a thing? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Although, I think there was a large crash recently. It was, that's why I suppose it's still around. Oh, did I miss the arm? Are you kidding me? It's it's hanging by a fucking thread! You sliced off the shoulders but not the arm! Oh my god, fucking sturdy cyborgs. So, do you think they're mining Bitcoin with their spines? They don't reheat. God. Maybe maybe those deployed in like sub Siberia or something where it's already cold, and they maintain body temperature by mining uh, bitcoins. Speaking, using up all the power to mine your stupid fake play money. 
I have so feelings. It's like Razor's a large company, they don't give a shit because they don't need to. Welcome back. Howdy. Yeah. Okay. What up, nerd? R2 is lock on. Yeah, we. Yeah, no, I meant like I, I finally remembered to press it because we had some excitement in between. Yeah, we got to talk about boobies. Damn it, why is it so hard to parry this thing particularly? And mm. Raiden was like, boobs are nothing, because he's an ass man. No, we haven't done this in a while. Bad. E for bad. So, do you think Raiden has like a separate non combat body? Well, he does. He does. Uh, yeah, he saw it in uh, 4. No, but this is after 4. Yeah, but I mean, like a better one. No, he, oh. just, he just puts the tuxedo on this one. It didn't equip me with a dong, so I have no need for boots. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't so need he, he doesn't need a dong. He has a sword. Uh, that is very unfortunate. What you just said. I'm trying to. He's he's had some issues that were not directly his own. Mm. I think we destroyed that out of my accent though. Yeah, you cut straight down the middle. He was flipping, sadly. Yeah, no, getting arms is a bit rough. Yeah. I know. I know. Uh, my first, I my first playthrough, I restarted a lot of checkpoints, and it was pretty decent with cards and everything. Gun in midair. That's fine. It's, it's, it's sci-fi. Uh, no, that's fine, it exploded. Yeah. And, uh, Carnival. Uh, no, he sent his family to New Zealand, so... Why New Zealand? New Zealand sucks. But that's where the Lord uh, of the Rings are. Yeah, also see Dolly. what I mean? So we Dolly the Sheep. Dolly's dead. Okay, well, radar. Dolly the Sheep was you in New Zealand. You it is your oh, that's a secret fight then. I meant to do that. Uh, let's try it. Let's do one at least. Man, I would think hobbit holes are like the coolest shit if it wasn't for the fact that I'm stupidly tall. Okay, but look at. Get close there, buddy. Oh, there was a second one. Yeah. Wait, is... What's above you? Um, don't worry about it. I think things are happening with the Ferris wheel. Yeah, things were happening with the Ferris wheel. The yeah, helicopter geez, got... Able to it. It's fine. No, the helicopter got caught on the Ferris wheel and it took it with it. Oh. See, because the Ferris wheel was destructible, it just did physics. Okay, now we can see the main plot.
Kind of just thinking about how I wish there was a hobbit hole for tall people. The cliff is just ahead at the end of the old city. The feet the purpose of it being a hobbit. So what, I would die. It's a sheer drop? The refinery's not connected to the city at all? No. It was only built two years ago. There should be a narrow path around there that leads to the plant. It is protected by a fence, but probably you can cut your way through. Probably. <laughs> probably. Don't get cocky. Most likely it is Desperado running security down there. Can't jump the fence. I don't know, maybe it's a really tall fence. Raiden's spindly little legs don't carry him that high. How tall even is Raiden? Has Not that tall. It has barbed wire, you can't jump that. You're... You're a fucking cyborg, you don't have flesh. You don't need to worry about barbed wire. It's vibro. The barbed boys! Wire. Keep on coming, man. Oh god, that looked like it pulled out of uh, his deck. Uh, I, That's a problem. Biden has two different canonical heights. 5 foot 10 in Metal Gear Solid 2 and 6 foot 2 in Metal Gear Solid 4 and Metal Gear Rising. Ah, Ryder right ain't shit! That's because of his heels. Suck it, Ryder! It's me in the pissing contest with fictional characters. <laughs> so they just go open this door? No. I guess. I guess I'll just jump up. BRB gonna celebrate being taller than someone who doesn't exist. Life goals, I guess. Not really, being tall sucks. Mm. Tell that to short people. I, I do! Short people. Don't be 6'5, dude. Okay. Being <laughs> Just don't! Don't be, uh, however tall I am. Tall I, enough, I'm sure. I don't know what feet are, I, I only go in standard. Right. Uh, actual... 198 centimeters, I think it is. Oh, that's pretty tall. Yeah, like, like... 196, 197. I think I'm one, uh... I'm actually, no joke, 169. <laughs> nice. The old boys. They make a return. I appreciate you, chat. You're all beautiful people. <laughs> we have a good community here on twitch.tv slash real so Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Carnival is almost a foot shorter than I am. Oh. So yeah, but probably use this, maybe. Yeah, I'm just, I'm tall enough for it to be a problem, it's great. Last time I measured myself, I was six foot. <laughs> Sorry, what? No. I, I love these I love these big boys because you have to parry them three times in a row and it is so satisfying. It also looks ridiculous. Oh what? Oh Jesus! He ain't dead yet. Oh somebody's throwing grenades at me. Who the fuck is shooting fucking rocket launchers at me? That guy. Why are you shooting point blank grenades? What the fuck? Because he's an idiot.
Yeah, that guy totally confused me because I don't recall them ever shooting that close. Uh, I mean, it worked, and that's why I kept doing it. Like, Scruffy's right. That's exactly why I kept doing it. Can I jump through this? Ooh. Ooh. I think that's a health upgrade, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's your first health upgrade. Raiden. Raiden, please, just, just... Raiden. The... It's extra barrels to hold extra gateway. Plug, plug. So where does he put that giant fucking thing? Don't answer that. In. Yeah. He's rhetorical. Ah, time for the good stuff. I was wondering good song. You'd come, Jack the Ripper. They're all good songs. No one calls me. Yes, probably. This one's the best. I can show you a better time. Yeah, this probably reaches the top for me. You're in charge here. Yeah, she is definitely a top. The cold wind of France. And you, your reputation precedes you. Liberian, but white as snow. Natural born <laughs> child. That was a long time ago. I was born. Why are you white as hell? Myself, you know. I'm only half French. And we had our own civil war in the nineties. So you see, cut from the same cloth, you and I. You don't know me. I lost my whole family, everything. Okay, maybe you do though, be a bit. But I butchered those fuckers. My family's killers. You have that in common with her too, Ryan. Why are you looking surprised? I am a killer too. And a good one at that. I slaughtered dozens in Iraq. In Afghanistan. So I was having a weird problem with the side stream where the audio was slightly pitched up. <laughs> what happened? So she sounded like a teenage girl. <laughs> to be nice. honest, I found it quite dull. I was like, I remember her voice like being deeper. One after another. Not once did I Eighty percent artificial. I was adrift, without challenge, without purpose. At times I even envied my prey. At least they had a cause to die for. And then Well she's a cyborg, Scruffy. <laughs> Clearly walking on hills is a special enhancement. And I knew what I had been missing. His ideals. So I'm pretty sure Ryan should be able, able to do half the stuff I he's doing with heals. Yeah. Like, okay. like being a cyborg helps you walk in heals. It's really good. Protect the weak. <laughs> okay, doctor. I'm gonna become a powerful military cyborg, but let me keep my tits. I mean, if they're nice, why so nice. no? I also love how Ryan said I protect the weak, and then I heard somebody's cat meow sadly. That was my dog. Oh, I thought you heard my dog making a noise. We, have less in we are. Than I thought. That was your dog making the noise. Okay, no. I just want to make sure because other people have cats. It could have been Torpid's cat. Daisy's off in a different room sleeping on my bed. I love this. It's yeah. just. Her weapon is made out of the arms of the old boys. Here we go. I love that bit right there. Yeah. So yes, A Stranger I Remain is really fucking good. Yeah. Especially once the vocals kick in. Oh shit, that's for that, okay. It's been a while.
Oh, what? Okay. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> Such a good fight. Yes. I am stopping to enjoy this. Same though. You must fight my children. Uh, yeah, like the the boss fights in the main game are really solid. Mm -hmm. It helps that like there aren't like a huge number of them, so they're pretty memorable. Focus yeah. But yeah, all of them have a lot of personality. It's just a shame that Mistral didn't get more screening time. Yeah, yeah, she looks like she has a lot of like backstory to her. I mean, if Kojima was over this, he would have given her like a two-hour cutscene. I am unlocking achievements, and it is distracting me so much. Everything blown up around you. They did Tyrion, but uh, Raiden's not good at collateral damage. a bit fucked up actually. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's fine. Fucking S rank, there we go. Hell yeah. Eh, it's a boss fight. Well, chat, you get a hundred points. Report. Your vitals are dropping. I lost. Enjoy chat, enjoy. Oh, this is how they felt. Dying. Yes, she's saying this right now, Tyrion. I think it's mostly because her vitals are in her process or CPU head, whatever. So they probably have some. Okay, but then why was she doing that breathing thing at the end? She's not talking. Um, a dramatic effect. <laughs> she's just being a dramatic fucker right up to the end. Yeah. I mean, they all do the breathing thing. I am. Surrender. 
Yes, it's just really weird if you think about it, is all. Translation. Why would I surrender? We are exactly where I want. Shit. Built with Russia money to make Russia money. There's no plan for Afghan. It is their prison. But now. They will be free! Yeah, that, I'm, I'm kind of with Garwell there. I just assumed that the breeding thing is a force of habit from being human. I, I more like the idea of this everyone is dramatic as hell. I mean, if I was a cyber, I'd be dramatic as fuck. That dude was human. Oh, that guy. Well, yeah, that guy was human. If I was surrounded by cyborgs, I'd be dramatic as fuck. Yeah, but you see, that was a cyborg he wanted to bone. I mean, this is important. I mean, he has a reason to be dramatic then. I mean, yeah, eighty percent artificial torso. Ah, my fairy ring, spaz, spaz babs. <laughs> Just you can tell they're human because they feel like bags of sand. I'm not sure if you ever touched a boo before. That is a fucking reference that I would be sad if anyone got. I got it. Sadly. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay, can I buy it yet or do I need to wait? Uh... Oh no. Okay, we have I remember it from somewhere, but I don't know what it is. It's from the 40 year old virgin. Oh my god. Okay, we don't have the costume I want to unlock, so we're gonna hold off for a bit. Yeah, uh, we, know, we yeah, get that in a later level. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus fucking- I'm so <laughs> sorry, Squares. 200,000 for a sword. Yeah, that's because the Fox Blade is broken beyond belief. Like, it is a cheat mm -hmm. weapon. Oh, that's, uh, overpowered, okay. Yeah, that's why it's so expensive. Yeah, it just cuts shit. Yeah. Also, I don't actually really like the, uh, unique weapons in this game, aside from the, uh, Psy. No? Hmm. Yeah. Dim electrolytes. Aerial parry, <laughs> yes. Yes. Sky high, uh, yes. Reap kick, yes. It allows him to cast Thunder Wave. Dog does not approve of your choices. Sorry, dog. Okay, we'll leave that for later. Yeah, everything's expensive because of the war economy. Oh shit, I forgot there were these as well. Oh well, we'll do that in the next one. If only you can make it cut gooder. Just give it to the forge, uh, for the, to the blacksmith from Sultan's Sanctuary. No, they just need to fold the metal again. lined up, right? Yep. All set. Hope so. You'd be a little conspicuous just walking the streets. Relax, Kev. I'll blend right in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no>. Just... <laughs> Raiden, please. That's racist. <laughs> the thing is, Raiden actually thinks it what it's gonna work. That's what I mean. Raiden does all this cool <laughs> shit, but also he's a huge fucking goober. <laughs> white guy from Liberia named after a Japanese thunder god whose, I whose idea of a disguise is a sombrero and a poncho. But also check out our sweet dog. Cyber dog! 
It's like ask somebody with a sense of humor to match my own. <laughs> I love this. Not being subtle at all. <laughs> Adios, amigos. <laughs> Raiden, why are you like this? I love him. <laughs> he is perfect. God damn it, Ryden, why are you like this? I'm in the sewer system. Alright, let's get started. Your mission's to investigate the God, of Blade Wolf's design is the best though. In that area. According to the intel from our client, the lab's been dumping illegal waste into those sewers. FYI, they're also involved with the cartels in human trafficking. Allegedly, anyway. <sighs> this just gets better and better. Tell me about it. We need you to infiltrate the lab and find out everything you can. Of course, you'll have to find it first. We still don't know the exact location. So I'm looking for anywhere the lab might hook up with the sewers? Yep. If they're actually dumping waste, they've got to link up somehow. Find that connection, sneak into the lab, and see if you can find evidence implicating them on anything. No problem. Stealth's my specialty. Right. You fucking liar. Well, we'll see. Do Not we how I play Metal Gear Solid 2, <laughs> and that's canonical. I'm glad Kevin doesn't believe him. Maybe something related to all the people they're trafficking. Like well, he saw his Mercuriachi disguise, so he knows. But also, same bear. Uh, speaking, oh, right. yeah, no, I'm. Says here, the local I'm amazing at stealth. I'm a master of stealth. Sewers, so you know, uh, watch yeah, out. I've been watching you play Five Cry. The Black only time that. I completely ghosted a section in uh, Metal Gear Solid Three was one of the hardest areas, and because my co-commentator said, oh yeah, you're not gonna stealth this, and they started talking off topic, and while they were talking off topic, I just stealthed everything. Ah, uh, see, you just snipe them with your pistol. You stealth out of spite. Exactly. I just... Pretty impressive. Only the power plant is back online. Plus, I remember those Metal Gear Solid 2 strings being a mess, but it's like a fucking fever dream to me. And then you're you struggling with your PS3 slowly dying. Oh, I didn't yeah. know there was a 3DS MGS3. Other than financial losses, oh, there, oh yeah, there was one. It's very, it's very strange to port that and all things. Also, please do not make fun of my Five Cry skills. I am amazing. Good to hear. Mm. It should go a long way to help fix our. You say so. Duh. And even more good news. Desperado is down one of its top captains. Let's go. See, I said she was a top. We can hope, but it is doubtful. We still do not know who is supporting. So I hate from the bottom even captains next. Desperado down entirely. Their backers could hate all of us. Some other PMC. I think months yeah, I think really Monsoon think is probably a bottom. Who'd benefit besides the Georgians? <laughs> Monsoon is a power bottom. Yes. <laughs> 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 but he fucking is. The problem is that there are countless companies and governments profiting off the BTC pipeline. Whoever is behind it, they may be too big for a simple security firm like us to do anything. Yeah, one thing we do know though, is that Sundowner is more than just a pawn in all of this. We need to watch him. Trafficking I not. love that name. Stop their operation here. Sundowner. <laughs> Sundowner is the best. Be careful. Be careful, Tovarich. I just, I love Sundowner because he's just so incredibly over the top. Couldn't find a thing. Definitely not Dolzayev. Probably not Sundowner either. No. The way she put it, it didn't sound like anyone I've encountered so far. Maybe someone involved in backing Desperado. If so, sounds like they're providing more than just finance. Maybe they share the same philosophy. That'd be bad. People willing to die for their leaders aren't so easy to predict. Yeah, but 
Other than the winds, Desperado cyborgs are all just hired contractors. They're probably also, I know it's a bit late in the stream, whatever, uh, but was it. the mic audio balancing fine? You're because I changed some right. stuff around. <laughs> you sound fine. I don't know for people watching because it's a bit um, different. Yeah. Like how you guys hear it on Discord and how they hear it. I have blew himself up. Pretty common terror tactic. You don't usually see the leaders doing it, though. It's one thing to get your flock pumped up on the glory of dying for the cause. But it's not often they actually go through with it themselves. You gotta have a public face, after all. The guy who gets to claim responsibility on the evening news. In a weird way, Dolzai have showed some serious dedication. Not that I'm about to praise him for it. Yeah, still a terrorist. A suicide bomber in the end. If that's what you want to call him. Still, he kind of failed at it. How so? Well, all that explosion did was put a dent in Abkhazia's budget. More Russia's, really. They're the ones rebuilding the refinery. The coup didn't work out. He couldn't overthrow the government. He was barely a blip on Russia's radar. So, you're saying the bombing didn't accomplish any of his goals? He did it just because he was cornered? Sounds more like just plain suicide. Yeah. Probably wanted to end things with his own hands. Like oh, a semi fucking... committing how to kill. Wow. Commend. God, why are you the worst, Raiden? <laughs> true warriors like the samurai just gives them a bad name. No, you uh, give, yes, you give. Why did you do it, Raiden? God. Oh my god. He gives <laughs> true warriors. Why that name? Why did you do it? True warriors like the samurai. He gives samurai a bad name. But he never claimed to be a samurai, right? What do you want about? <laughs> The unit contains over 200 well, no, he compared him to a samurai, and then he's like, oh, wait, oh, comparing oh, him to a samurai would be a bad thing. Oh, yeah, it's like, oh, how dare you? warriors like the samurai. How dare. <sighs> Good sentence. Oh, my God, right, you're such a weeb. Huh. So I shouldn't expect any more dramatic improvements to my eyesight? No, your brain would no longer be able to process any more visual information in real time. Still, <laughs> you'd have latency. <laughs> yours has 1.4 times the resolution and a superior compression algorithm. It may only result in a slight. I wonder how many uh, culture books right? Making the difference during a mission. Regrettably, I have not had enough time to develop a new eyeball unit just yet. Thus, I have cut out the ability to deploy the ACE unit separately and simply installed it on a fixed eye patch. Works for me. There's your explanation. If I was using an eye unit, I wouldn't see cool. any better than a regular human. Ah, but remember, the human eye is so much more than a simple light receptor. They play a vital role in person-to-person -person communication. <laughs> Sooner or later, you'd miss it. Stuff like that's important. I mean, it's not like... Tasks, sure. For this op, not so much. And with less moving parts, the lower the chance of something going wrong. <laughs> Besides, I like it. Well, I'm very pleased to hear this. I can worry about how I look after I complete the mission. <laughs> right, let's talk to our uh, boy. Wolf, you're a one-of-a-kind prototype, right? Correct. I was originally conceived as a weapon to replace oh. humans and cyborgs. Conversation and intelligent decision-making were deemed essential to the role. The project was eventually cancelled after three years in development. Why? I have intelligence, but I lack a specific quality essential to any combatant. What's that? Brutality. I am not human, thus I lack the brutality in Wow, humanity. deep. <laughs> Humans are brutal. He then throws up the horns. Apparently on Sundowner's orders. Sundowner? But what's he want with you? Unknown. A manifestation he really likes dogs. Humor, perhaps. As a machine, I am more sensitive to my fellow man than an actual fellow man. Sundowner is a grade A fuckboy. <laughs> Guy has an odd sense of humor. Okay, let's roll. Well, on that note, right. good night, y'all. Later, Get thanks for the Exercise caution. I was just a sewer, what's the worst that can happen? You could step in shit. We already did. Exactly. Oh no, a gorilla!
by the cyber cow, the cyber dog, and now cyber Kong. Does you know what are the most efficient killing machines? Apes. Parry way too early in this game. Yeah, I really hate these enemies. I think everyone hates them. Jesus, you can rotate fast in this game. That's good game design. Use it to conceal yourself if necessary. Don't walk down. You sneak attack the apes. Yes, we can. Yeah, but you get less of a score because your combo is shit. No, is that how it works? You get a stealth bonus, but I don't think it makes up for the shit combo multiplier, but I could be wrong. Well, the alternative is fighting these assholes. Uh, also, I think certain fights don't activate. I don't know. It's dumb. It's dumb. It's so dumb. At least you don't have to fight these guys, and that's, you know, a bonus. Always. Here's the ride I know. Uh-huh. Okay. You doubted my stealth earlier, Kevin. He was really happy about you murdering, you don't understand. Oh, right, that's right, he basically made fun of me not being able to stealth. To be fair, stealth in this game is, like, Really weird. Also, I think if you go back to the beginning, there's an extra fight, but who cares? We really want an extra fight with a monkey. Not with a monkey. I just don't remember where the trigger is for the extra fight. Oh man, a new VR mission. Ah. Oh. But yeah, let's uh, let's move on. Uh, you see, VR stands for Virtual Raiden. Right. There is a boy in the sewers. Boy. A boy, huh? The boy. There you go, S rank. More XP. Carpet. Hmm. Oh, you got an S? Yeah, I got an S. Did you doubt me? No. Okay. Not really. Okay. I have no reason to doubt you. You have given me no reason to doubt you. Wait, do your throwing knives glow aqua? Oh, it's actual dinosaurs. The dinosaurs! And now, the Cybo Dino. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 
<laughs> the best I'm reference. So <laughs> I'm so very glad. How? How dare you hit me? Have to be a special kind of person to make a reference to that movie of all things. Also, please, he's not a ninja, he's a samurai. No, 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 he just reveres the samurai. He knows he's a ninja, therefore he's, le he's less honorable than the perfect samurai. I thought he was all about the honor and protecting the weak. Yeah, he is. Yeah, I so mean, he'd ninjas... be a terrible samurai. Yeah, but ninjas can do that too, but in less honorable ways. Well, to be fair, that's just weird, dumb propaganda. Uh, historically, ninjas were less assholes than actual samurai. Samurai were actually massive I like how assholes. A lot of things in this world are powered by those old things. I mean, it was a title like Knight. Yeah, and Knights were notorious assholes. Exactly. See, the dog knows what's up. At this dog. Smother it. No, I'll smother it with love. Exactly, it's, yeah. that's what I meant. Yeah, that's what we meant. Yeah. What you say? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you speak English? You speak English? Uh, yeah, I'm from America. Call me Ryden. My name's George, like. Georgetown. George. And just like all damn America president. Yeah. So what are you doing here? Me? What's for you doing here? You lose the map on Ninja. My name is Jones, like Jonestown. No, kid. No, 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 no. Bad guys. Wait, what was he sad when he heard the name George? Is that an old girl for thing? Hey, you know what a damn. I I don't remember. No, I guess you're all right. If you're a cyborg, you know who Yeah, I do love is? the two different lines. What happened to you? Oh yeah, George you Sears. Street, they can uh. above, nah? Then this good knee dressed like the mafia say, Hey, boy, you want a job? What the worst gonna happen, nah? Right. But that mother scone don't put me on a last boat. That's why I said, like, like the president. He didn't mean George Bush. Oh, oh, right. I for I completely forgot about that entire ending. <laughs> it doesn't help that everyone was talking about George Bush Senior recently. And got all day again. So you ran. Uh huh. To be fair, the last stretch of Metal Gear Solid Two is like a fucking fever dream. Same as you. It it is. Me been strongest cyborg ever. Warlock all them phantoms and black clothes that I pass me. Starting to sound like a bad guy yourself. Just playing, nah. Me done plenty bad thing. <laughs> but me not kill no man. Nah, never. Good. George, have you ever killed a man? I would his brain would get cut out. Run your ass out of there. But them boy with me no understand. They like Spanish or something. So me the only one for escape. Then that machine come after me and... And I know the rest. George, I need every detail about how you escaped. <laughs> Whoa, calm the fuck down, man. <laughs> Tans, hands, they gotta weigh a lot. So the kid got into the sewers through a drainage channel? Yeah, he says the channel is super tight, but there's some kind of shutter next to it. Got it. That must be where they dump the waste. There's something else. It's so we're riding the lawns. Exec was on site yesterday. 
If a sentry cyborg was on hand for the meeting... You should be able to review their video log, provided you can find the server access terminal. That would give us the evidence we need, as well as a little peek at the level of their technology. So what about the kid? I made sure the area was secure and told him to sit tight. Can you pick him up? Sure. I'll send a couple agents for him. You just focus on getting into that lab. If what he said is true about the organs, we need to hurry. Agreed. Riding out. Harvesting child organs. <gasps> One day you'll learn how to use a door. It is possible they are conducting test operations while the lab is closed. They're not going to make it easy to get into that lab. Is there some way you could sneak past? It's... It's a box. How's that going to help? Oh, it's for medical supplies. That could work, actually. I love the dumb explanation about the, how the box actually works in this fucking game. Oh, wait a second. Wonder... Okay. I know like sometimes they're like actual uh, things hiding in boxes. Yeah, but uh, usually they're just weirdly empty. That's it. They're amazing at holding their shape in something damp like some sewers. Well, they're medical box. Uh, the description for them is so fucking dumb. Container made of transporting from a circles. The metallic foil lining is designed to help maintain the temperature inside the box, but has the added benefit of shielding its contents from infrared vision. So it's Shut the fuck up. So, like, basically, it's like, oh yeah, cyborgs can see you. Like, it's, it's a box. The most high tech cardboard box in existence. Can you sync attack out of the box? Now to fight three of these. Uh, don't you love that? Yeah, I love it. Oh, fuck off. Keep wanting to cut off its legs. Good anime. 
Yeah. Just to me, eh? Full meter. Mm. Hey, Alliance. Hey, can I just jump on it? No. Hmm. I, th I think I need like... Actually, do I have the item to fill my thing? Electrolyte now, pack. Uh, how do we use it? There we go. Okay, maybe that will actually get to work because I'll slow down time. There we go. Okay, now we can continue. Ryan, please climb the boxes. Thank you. Ryan, I have determined the approximate location of the lab based on the boy's information. It is marked on your Soliton radar. How fuck is this thing? This is a weird enemy that I think only appears here. There we go. Could be wrong though, but I, I vaguely recall it only appearing in the sewers. I mean, the design implies it has, like, well, it only needs to be on water, and I think this is the only water area I know of. Yeah, it's just, it's weird that they have, like, a one off design in this game that reuses enemies a lot. I mean, do the crocodiles appear anywhere else? True. I'd imagine though. Know. Objective marker. Do we need to kill the thing? Oh, another one spawned. Oh, wait, do I need to go here? No, this just an item. Or these things respawn. Yeah, I remember like none of this part. Yeah, it seems like they do respawn. Like, it just spawns one in the middle of it. 
Well, yeah, because I think they set off an alarm if they catch you or something like that. I forget what it was. Oh, now I'm trying to see where I have to actually go. Like, the objective marker was there in the corner, and now it's gone. What that room? What's in there? Uh, I went in there, there's was just an iron pickup. Mm. It's not that. And the objective marker was here, and then when I got there, it just vanished. Oh. Oh, so, a fake wall projection. Pretty well hidden, I gotta say. I see. I, I, I'll be honest, I do not remember this at all. Electrolytes. Later, Iggy. Thanks for dropping by. Later, Iggy. We'll actually probably wrap this up as soon as we get the next um, proper checkpoint. checkpoint. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is running late, isn't it? Oh, yeah. And you know, end of the year, we're being reckless a bit. <laughs> sure! Would appear to be the UG maintenance area. You should find a terminal there. Something they use to upload mission parameters to the UGs. And something I can use to access the lab's main server? Perhaps. But first you need to take a dump. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> a dump? A digital optical output mounted proxy. You'll need one to interface with the terminal. Most any UG should suffice. A tripod or the like. I'll see what I can come up with. How do I use it? Simply connect to it. You should be able to use your communications outlet to control the proxy UG. Alright, let's give it a shot. Okay. Got a checkpoint. Let's also manually save because that's good practice. I can't believe what they're doing in there. Guess I shouldn't be so surprised, huh? Guess not. Are you gonna help them? No other choice. Just gotta get a big old doom. Place that might take them in. Thanks. Least I can do. Did you want to save your data? Okay, save complete. Don't let your guard down, okay? Okay, everybody, that is it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. On Friday, we will continue the um, uh, the playthrough, and we'll go take a big old doom. Yeah, we'll start off with a big old doom. Um, but probably because it's Friday, it's going to be an extended stream, so we'll probably get through a good chunk of the game, to be honest. Um, and then on Sunday, we will do a preview or our first impressions video of the new Earth Defense Force. Uh, so tune in for those two. In the meantime, I'm going to host somebody if they're streaming. Who is streaming? Uh, let's see. Well, Dan is streaming Lama 102. I don't know for how long, but go check them out. Or say hi, or go to bed, whichever you prefer. Good night. Go to bed! <laughs>